I'm Joe. I'm Taylor. We're drinking <laughs> today. Taylor brought over some beer. Some We're adulting. I don't know. Can't yeah, say the name of the sponsor on the show. Can't say it's, it's not a sponsor then. It's not, <laughs> exactly. It's not a sponsor. But today we're talking about the same thing we always talk about. Business, money, economics, politics, sports. You name it, we're talking about it. Sports this week, I think, right? I mean, this conversation is kind of about all of that. I'm already, like, done. I'm slurring. <laughs> this conversation is about all of those things. Uh, this time we're talking about, do you see uh, TMZ the other day? Taylor, my favorite website. No, what did you do? Is it about the upcoming, upcoming fight on Sunday? Saturday? It is about the upcoming fight on Saturday. Which fight would that be, Joe? If it was Sunday, that'd be an awesome fight. Uh, this fight is Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. Never heard of him. The one that uh, all of our fans out there love me to talk about most. They want to hear about the business, the detail, the money. Joe, what do you think it's going to sell? Joe, what do you think the money is going to be? What do you think they're going to make? Well, if you guys are on my favorite website, TMZ, you would know that already. Three hundred million is what Floyd Mayweather expects to make off this fight. That's just one person. Three hundred million dollars. So, like, if you just talk about what well, Floyd Mayweather did, like two hundred million or so for Manny Pacquiao and him, okay. and Manny Pacquiao did like one hundred fifty or hundred million. Gotcha. Whatever. We don't like looking up facts before the show starts on the show. Boring. But I remember it being close to something like that. So. The, he's expecting it to do a lot more this time then. So if he wants $300 million, he's expecting it to be uh, as profitable or more so than uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather. What about McGregor, though? So let's see. If uh, if Mayweather got $200 million and Pacquiao got 150, so 350 plus $100 million of the promoters, everyone's saying this could be the billion-dollar fight, Taylor. Billion dollars. What do you think? Billion-dollar fight. Okay, no, no. How about this? Just as a as a one quick aside, the card will not be just them. There'll be a undercard with them. Oh, there'll well. be tons of nobodies fighting on the other undercard like usual, how, right? How much? How much do you think those undercards are getting paid? Oh, they get paid nothing. Yeah, it's actually out there. Like the the number the athletic uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission actually has the numbers for all those the undercards, and they get paid worse than undercards of UFC fighters. Fifteen bucks an hour. Pretty much, yeah, exactly. Pretty much 15 bucks an hour. But according to this, let's see, we got um, Uh ticket sales are slower than anticipated. No, ticket sales, that's ticket sales to the actual event. To the actual event, yeah. But not pay-per-views, though. Not pay-per-views. The pay-per-view is going to be 100 bucks, and it's going to be... How much uh, pay-per-views usually? Are it 60 bucks, 50 bucks? The Mayweather Pacquiao one was like 100 bucks. But yeah, UFCs are like 65 bucks for HD, and 55 bucks for standard def, or whatever. So, pretty much, uh, everyone's thinking that the money's going to come off the pay per view sales and the buy rate. So we're talking about the ticket sales there. I think uh, what were ticket sales going for? Do you, just have, to, do you have Vegas odds? Just to I heard some people were giving sixteen to one. I I call bullshit on that though. Sixteen to one for Mayweather. For Mayweather, yeah. Uh, I mean, here's a problem. If it's 16 to 1, we're driving down to Vegas tomorrow and betting 16 to 1, obviously. I mean, you don't pass up those odds, right? That's $16 to $1, right? I saw he opened at 3.5. So, I mean, 3.5 would mean like he's going against a professional fighter who also fights and also does this as well um, and has a close record, but he's going up against the champion Mayweather, right? That, so, you, so you're saying that he is currently on par. Uh, he opened talent, on par. Talent, the the, li- the lines talent. moved since then, but uh, more appropriately, he should be a five or six to one. But they're not going to give him that much because they want a lot of action. They want a lot of action on Mayweather, you know, and McGregor. So if it's too much, no one's going to even bet on Mayweather. No, we already, we already we already did our predictions for this fight. We did it a couple weeks ago. You can check on it on our right highest on, video, on our highest rate of video ever. That was the Joe tells you. The we oh, tell okay. you where we talked about our predictions. Our video. highest rate of we tell you ever. Yes, um, but the Joe tells you where, where uh, Joe told you, told you all about how McGregor was the best um, MMA fighter. That one is our biggest uh, video as to date. But this could break it, people. Just watch it. Yeah. Um, but no. So, so we made our predictions. Okay, and UFC then, two fourteen. Okay. The purses for that they range from ten thousand dollars to one million. That was uh, John Jones versus Daniel Cormier, the one that happened last month. Yeah. By the time this video airs. Yes. <laughs> so that's what you're looking on par with, like, 
the the boxing purses, except you'll start at ten thousand and then you'll go to three hundred million, which is <laughs> a <laughs> slight a slight bump. A little bit of a gap there. Where is that over here? So I was trying to look at the exact performance. No worries. Of the, uh, so we so as as from, from our previous predictions, you said even though you are a McGregor fan, you think that he's a great MMA, smartest MMA fighter. You said that he will lose to Mayweather. Now, our, now last time I don't think you gave a, a, a round, maybe a decision. Do you think McGregor? Do you still think, out of everything that's going on, McGregor will still go at least dis, to decision? Or getting knocked out or knocked out. Would you hear the new thing? The new thing was... Uh, What's the new thing? You got to put this in the title of the video. Shout out to Brendan Schaub, MMA fighter. Gotcha. Uh, we watch his stuff too. Uh, he, he was saying that... He was having a bet with Max Kellerman where Max Kellerman said that McGregor won't even win a round. And I hear the latest is Schaub is putting a dick pic on the line. So not only will... <laughs> <laughs> Not now, only is, is it Shab's yeah. dick or another person? Shab's dick. He's oh, putting okay. a dick pic on the line. This is real stuff coming out of there. Like he was on a, he was on a podcast. Not much more popular than this one. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought up that uh, he would throw out a dick pic if uh, uh, Mayweather or sorry McGregor wins a round, and the fight has to go the distance. And May- Mayweather McGregor, they're too close. May Mayweather Mayweather, they're too damn close. But the fight goes the distance. I think Shab's throwing all, out the. That's all twelve rounds to decision. Shab's right? throwing the dick pick out. So and then if uh, I guess in a hundred thousand dollar bet, Shab's putting up a hundred G's to Max Kellerman that McGregor will win rounds. So meaning that the first round or two, that's usually a fill out round. Yeah. If McGregor lands a few more punches, he has a good chance of winning that. Yeah. I know Shab put up the money, but I think uh, Max Ke- Kellerman being like the uh, the guy that he is, you know, full of shit. He, he did not put up the money to match that. So he's just, he's just talking. He's just talking. It's a bluff. He's bluffing. Max Kellerman's a boxing commentator. You know, have you ever heard of him before? He was like, what was he? Was he in that sports show before? Is he, is he the old white guy on HBO? No, you know, if you saw him, probably. Yeah. But let's see. What the hell is this? TMZ. I swear to God. That's not done. Yeah. Horrible sight. I don't want to hear about Martin Shkreli or Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> That'd be next <laughs> show. No, it won't. Just kidding. We never talk about those. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, so he's expected three hundred million. So Floyd Mayweather says he'll get three hundred million. So if Conor McGregor, so is that regardless of win or lose, he, he's estimating that that is going to be the buy rate and the projection of the money they're going to make. And yes, that is regardless of whether he. That's just how many people tune into the fight. That's dividing the um, the purses, the, the guaranteed money. It's dividing up the. Um, attendance and it's dividing up the pay-per-view sales on that too. Gotcha. So if McGregor is estimated to make about 75 to hundred million and Mayweather is going to make 300 million, he's thinking it's going to do as good or better than the Pacquiao fight. Now I had predicted that it wasn't going to, let's see if we hold, <laughs> let's see if that holds right. I, I predicted it wasn't going to do as well because I don't think that the uh, MMA fans for McGregor and the boxing fans for Mayweather we're going to come out as much as they're going to come out for someone that they thought they could actually beat Mayweather, which was Pacquiao. Now, just to bring it back, I do remember you saying that this will be a two-part. This will be a a, a two-part fight. I this, think so. This, this first yeah. part will not have as many buys as you as people think, but the part the McGregor Mayweather two will make up for the loss. This one and. Make up for it. I'm very suspicious something's going to happen where they're going to split some rounds. There's going to be some controversy. There's going to be – because remember, Mayweather doesn't have anyone else at all to compete with right now that is of the stature of a McGregor, right? So I'm thinking that Mayweather, if he's a businessman, and we know he is, he can dictate this fight and he can put the terms on whatever he wants to do. And he knows that McGregor is going to be all out of energy come round five, right? So – if Mayweather can give him some rounds and make it look competitive, Mayweather can cash in a $300 million payday. So McGregor comes from UFC. I'm not so- saying he would rig it to lose or win, but I'm saying he would maybe back off a little bit to make it more competitive to maybe in the interest of another fight. Because I, I, I don't think Mayweather is going to retire. I don't. I think he's going to fight Pacquiao again and then McGregor again. And then retire as uh, the f- boxing's first billionaire. Now you mentioned 
to go back a, a moment or two, you mentioned go the distance. You said fi- fifth round, McGregor would be tired. Yeah. Now, fifth round in a UFC fight, you it's would, over. You, you would think... Those, those are five-minute rounds. Five, Boxing's five, two-minute rounds. Okay, five-minute... Five, yeah. Okay, so two-minute round in no, boxing? Two-minute rounds? It's like two or three minutes. Like no, three minutes. Okay, okay maybe it's so, three minutes. Sorry. Okay, so 36 minutes for a boxing 12-round fight, three minutes of round, for a MMA fight that is 25 minutes, half an hour. So nine minutes, so what? Uh, what 11 minutes less than a boxing fight. Now, in a boxing fight... You have time to, you know, move around, block, whatever. And you have two rounds. Okay, say you have two rounds to fill them out. That's six minutes, right? And maybe a third or fourth round to fill them out as well. You're still trying to fill them out. You're trying to do whatever. You're trying to, maybe you're resting one round. So that's, that could be at least 10, 12 minutes off their fight. So that brings it down to... Look at that. Three and minutes with one minute of break in between them. The Mexican knows his boxing. Look oh, at that. Geez. The resident Mexican on the Thank show. You. Yes, exactly. I, I got one. <laughs> Exacting. <laughs> so, that, it over there. so that brings it down to what, like, roughly the same amount as a championship MMA fight, but in MMA... There's a good chance that you're expelling more energy at one time. You time. are expelling more energy. There's no, there's no good chance you are. I mean, wrestling and kickboxing and everything else, you're putting in way more effort, way more energy. There's no way that boxing is as tiring as MMA at all. So there's a good chance that he, that McGregor may not, may not get tired out because his cardio has prevent has has, you know, training for this, and he should be he could be okay. He could go the distance as long as he hasn't expelled too much energy punching. Now he can't kick. Is McGregor known more for kicks or punches, or what's it, what's his strong suit? Um, his punches are fine. He's a southpaw, and his he has a sharp left that comes out of nowhere, and it really levels people with the power they throws. So, I mean, it'll be fine in that regard. But the only problem with McGregor is that it is easier to box than fight in MMA. But uh, the the biggest problem with McGregor would be the more amount of punches he throws he's a bigger guy he has more muscle mass than floyd mayweather he risks getting tired sooner depending on the amount if he, if he kicks back and doesn't throw as much and plays a smart fight which who knows what he's going to do but i don't think he would be doing that i think so, he'd be coming out of the gate trying to knock floyd mayweather out that, that would be cockiness he would come out if you now let's let's look at everything or he thinks or i mean may not cockiness maybe he believes he can get him in those first couple rounds in the in the in the time that he's all you know the past what month or two that they've done these these rounds these these tours, have they charged t- admission to go see these people like them talk on stage? I mean, no, that, it's usually it, free. It's, it's like free? Per, yeah, it's usually free for that stuff for promotions. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I wonder if that's is adding towards the purse, like towards the purse, like make up to maybe if if they think that pay per view buys or the ticket sales aren't gonna be what they should be, that they're com- you know using that as a way to circumvent the cost that they're lo- they're, they're losing now. Do you think that these um, these tours have done anything to help the fight? So, um, well, according to uh, MixedMartialArts.com, we got some numbers here where, let's see, uh, someone look at the value of a spoke McGregor and so To divide McGregor's payday earnings against the self-promotional diatribe each fight, Dollars per insult would go away to understanding the face of spectacle. Let's see. So they, they believe that the press events directly correlate to the amount of people that will be buying the fight. So they do those for free in order to increase pay-per-view buys, not necessarily attendance at the fight. Okay. Um, so they say it's a direct translation to how many pay-per-view buys can be shifted, priced at $89 a pop. I guess it's eighty nine dollars. I thought it was gonna be ninety nine for HD. Maybe it starts at eighty nine ninety nine yeah. for HD. With let's see, suggesting it'll be with about five million buys um, in pay per view, which would their estimation would beat uh, Pacquiao versus Mayweather. And we're talking about the fight making almost pay per view buys wise four hundred and seventy five million dollars. So three hundred to like I said, a hundred million the promoter. 300 to Mayweather, 100 to McGregor, or 70, 75 to 100 to McGregor, with the rest of the 100 going to the promotion for throwing the event. And that's without sponsorship deals. We're not including that. We're not including ticket sales. Ringside seats have been set on sale for upwards of $83,000. That's for ringside seats. I know. <laughs> so uh, betting fees, uh, let's see. 
and it's not including betting fees either that will be generated by the fight. Neither fighter is allowed to reveal their earnings following a mutual legal agreement, but Dana White suggested Floyd Mayweather will make $100 million and McGregor slightly smaller, $75 million. So it'll push. So I, that's what Dana White had said the earnings would be. Now Mayweather contradicted that saying $300 million. So remember, too, uh, Mayweather does own the promotions company that promotes himself. So the purse for him could be $100 million, but the other $200 million could be his production company putting it on. Yeah. You know, that could be that too as well. So it'll push, it'll actually push his career earnings if he makes a hundred million to the $1 billion mark for this fight. So he could actually be at the 1 billion, 1.2 billion by the time the fight is ended. So does that mean that he will, once he hits now, has he said that 1 billion is his goal? No, but if money is his goal, there's, there's money on the table. We always talk about this, right? There's money on the table for him fighting Pacquiao and him fighting McGregor. Yeah. So what's more important to him? If if he breaks Rocky Marciano's forty nine and zero record and gets fifty and zero, then only money is left, right? I mean, if you already break the the record of forty nine and zero and get the fifty and zero, you've got that record. That's a real yeah. record. You've got it, right? Yeah. So at that point, there's only money from then on, and there's no other fights for him that are going to make him this kind of type of money. So if he's Money Mayweather, that's what I would do next. I would just. I would, like everyone talks about Chuck Liddell, like he was like getting knocked out towards the end of the career. I would ride that gravy train home. I mean, you're already a fighter, <laughs> you're already beat up all the time, and your head's no, already but pounded. Chuck Liddell, even though he got beat up, he's still known as the toughest, one of the toughest MMA fighters there was, there is, or there was. Yeah, but he's still he's still a scary dude. It's not yeah. like he's just like some like little wimp or you know. Just Very tough guy. for a white guy. Very tough. <laughs> no, yeah. did did McGregor ever fight? Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mayweather, uh, not Mayweather, but uh, Chuck Liddell. He couldn't. He's not the same weight class. And everyone thinks Conor McGregor is big. He's not that big. He looks pretty thin, like a little skin. Yeah, Chuck Liddell is two hundred five though. Two hundred five weight class. He's short too. McGregor, yeah. I think, is five six, somewhere around there. I mean, how tall is Mayweather? I have no idea. Should really look these things up before we start the show, but no, we said that we said facts. <laughs> we don't look it up. We know that. Yeah, I would love people to call us out and make we. Do not look up facts. That's the whole point of the show. How dare you call us out on that? Basically, the show should be called Two Guys Bullshit, which is basically what the show is about. Two Guys No Facts. Yeah. So um, that's what we're looking at numbers-wise for that. I mean, that's uh, going to be a pretty big fight. Are you excited? No. I told uh, – Chris was over here the other day. He's one of our friends, and he was talking about how he's really excited for the fight because he's Irish. And he wants the Irishman to win. And I said how I don't want to hear anyone who's excited at all for the fight because I don't want to fall into it. I believe it's going to be a boxing match. And I don't like boxing. I'm not really that much of a fan of boxing. Yeah. I'm a fan of MMA. I've been a longtime fan of MMA ever since it started. Taylor knows. you know. Yes. Or it's probably in our old podcast we talk about it. Yes. But I don't want to, I don't want to get tricked. Into, I was going to say paying money, but I don't ever pay for these things. <laughs> <laughs> Dana White's going to send the pirate quick, police off. Quick, quick tease for the a feature show. What do you think about the John Jones, Brock Lesnar? Uh, I think Brock Lesnar can't fight. That being said, um, I hope Brock Lesnar ties him up early, takes him down to the ground, pounds him into a horrible, slow, sitting on him until he can't breathe with light uh, punches with his big ham hands. <laughs> And he grinds out the world's most boring victory. I don't <laughs> care how he grinds it out, as long as it gets done. You think, you think he's a rock the red? Go Lesnar! Is, you, we're you, we're you, Team Lesnar over we here are on this team show. Lesner, but you think he's yeah. rock the beard again? You think he's back with the, the old mountain man beard? I hope not, because he got his ass kicked last time he rocked that beard. So I hope he does it. Versus the Mexican guy. We're like a realistic Brock fan show where we hope he just does the only thing he can do to win, which is not box at all, not stand up with John Jones, and just get him down to the ground and. Hopefully, just like pound him that way, because once Kane got up, it was all <laughs> downhill Mr. from there. Velasquez, yeah. yeah, once he got up, but that's another show. Tease for another show. We'll yeah. talk about another show. So with that's it. Those are the numbers for uh, Connor and uh, Floyd. So what do you guys think? You think that's too much, too little? You know, you think uh, it's appropriate for these guys or whatever? I mean, already Connor McGregor is the smartest businessman in MMA. Everyone complains about their money. Connor went out and just go. He just went and got his. So you guys are all complaining. All the fighters are complaining. Daniel Cormier, um, John Jones. Daniel Cormier got a salary of $1 million. Who knows what he got behind the scenes for pay-per-view. Yeah. John Jones got 500000 Who knows what he got behind the scenes. But they're not getting McGregor money. And if you want to get McGregor money, John Jones, message for you. 
as fans and we are able to see why people make this much money, the promo you cut for Lesnar, please work on it. Cause <laughs> although I am interested in you fighting Lesnar and trust, I'm a fan of you, sir. I was a fan of you beating Cormier. I'm not that much of a fan of Cormier as a person. He's fine as a fighter. I'm not a fan. So, uh, I wanted Jones to win this past weekend or a month ago when this airs. Hey-o. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, we all like John Jones actually around here, right? We're all, yeah. I mean, our, my roommate, John, he's a big fan too. Of, I mean, we all like John Jones around here. We're fans of football. So Arthur and Chandler Jones are football players. So, I mean, with that being said, go to acting classes. You're terrible. You don't know how to cut a promo. It is not con- Like, even though I, you think like you're saying something real, the way you say it with the crackling child's voice, you could just you could stand to work on a an acting class or two and learn how to cut a proper promo because your performance scary. Your half hearted call out of Brock Lesnar to end that fight. Uh, how about you see a guy forty pounds weaker than you beat you up? Knock it off, okay? Like, <laughs> how about you just don't say anything at all if if, you, if you're going to do a promo like that. Or at least talk to some experts in that in that regard. Talk to the mirror, actually. Look any advice? Any advice? Any advice for him, Taylor? Look in the mirror. Doug up. So like, Am I afraid of myself? Like, would it be? Would I be afraid of myself? How do you ask him? I'm like, please stop talking. <laughs> All right. Uh, CM Punk losing had a scarier promo. <laughs> CM Punk in tears, like with a swollen face, had a better promo than. Uh, the one Jones cut in victory. So there you go. So that's how much money he's going to make. Let us know. You want to know the tax impl- implications of it? Let us know in the comments.